Hi everybody, so today in, in this video I'm going to be doing my January favorites Selfie time Favorites Um, this shirt is so awesome You, if you watch my um Christmas haul for 2013 I showed this to you all in that video so and it actually has Marilyn Monroe on it so it just looks like this it's just a simple black t-shirt it's a U on shape like a high U neck shape thing and then so on the back it's kind of the same as the front but this one's black and white so it just says native in cursive writing and it's Marilyn Monroe and she's wearing like a headdress I think that's what it's called like an Indian hat like a American Indian hat and then so this is her it's kind of the same as the back but bigger and it's in colors so this is just as native and then it says when gear something like that and then just as native and then it's Marilyn Monroe with her nails oh sorry my computer but um and then just as native and then it's Marilyn Monroe with a my Canadian hat thingy I don't really know what it's called but this I've been wearing a ton like throughout the month of January and since I got it so it's really I'm actually wearing this tomorrow for school so yeah yeah okay so on to the next favorite so the next um next fashion favorite is this on oh, no. Is this skirt? I got it from Topshop. I'm not sure. I think I did a haul on this on my haul channel, on my vlog channel. So it just looks like this. Yeah, the thing is, it like, kind of stuck on the line. Like the thing, the bobber. So, I'm here. Um. This is a really good skirt. I really like the pattern. And the color is just simple. And it's high low kind of. And then it's like a pencil skirt inside. Like inside when you wear it. And it's just flowy outside. So I really like that. So yeah. The next one is like a flowy cardigan. I actually wore this today at school. It's kind of sheer I guess. So it just looks like this. It kind of sheer when you look at it but I just say this is flowy so I really like about this cardigan it's flowy and it's black so that's with everything so yeah and then next favorite next fashion favorite is this crop top and um I got this one from Zara I'm not sure where I got the cardigan from I think Banana Republic, I'm not sure, but just a simple white crop top. It's kind of high low, as you can probably tell. And yeah, it's just I like wearing it with like high waisted pants or anything like that. So yeah. And then next, I'm actually wearing this to school. So, it just looks like this. It's like a circle skirt mixed with a pencil skirt. So, I'm not really sure how to describe it, but it's kind of the materials. It looks like pants, like jean pants. It's like a dark wash, kind of light wash, medium wash. I'm not sure. Can't really tell in the sliding. Yeah. Okay, and then what I like to wear under that 
so it could be more appropriate for school because in my school you kind of have to wear um, one color or two colors of the school colors so this is one of my school colors maroon um so i just like to wear this over it i mean under it not over it under it and yeah because over it will be totally weird but and then it looks like this it's just like ankle cut i guess you can say so yeah i didn't really like this and yeah, let's move on. So next, or last, I should say, last fashion favorite is for the month of January is this. And I also been liking jackets. Um, what are you calling those? Sweaters. There you go. So they're not jackets, sweaters. But um, so I got this from Target. I'm not sure which, if they sell this still, but yeah, and it's just a zipper on the back, and then this is the pattern. And it just looks like this. Yeah, it's really, really cute, and especially it's a sweater over it, really cute. Yeah, and then, um, next category so next category is accessories so i will start with what's in here so um and also what's in here i'll do that second but first i'll start with what's in here this is just a Jersey Couture box, if you're wondering. And then what came in this box, what my cousin gave me, she gave me this. It's just in the middle, it's a gold chain. And then just this juicy. And this is like the lock, to like lock it. And this is a horseshoe, a bejeweled horseshoe. And it's just a chain in the middle and then a heart which is like a jewel I guess you can say and then just a circle that says this gold circle that says love couture luck yep that's what came in the box for necklace another accessory that I really been like it's gold and then it has a standard poodle and is this kind of poodle is called standard poodle i think but not that sure so looks like this it's really really cute and i really like to wear it with this dress mostly yep. and then to like for braces to stack this came in a set, I think. I'm not sure. But, um. So it's like this. It's the pattern. It, it comes with four. See, like one, two, three, four. And yeah, um, this is really, really cute. Really, really been liking wearing this to school. Or using this for school. And then next. Next, next what's in here is. I was just picking out random me um is this hair bow or hair yeah bow hair bow I got it from Claire's and then I got two other ones but I'm not sure where they are is that right okay so this is cold this right there on this and then um looks like this and then the clip is like that looks like that really really been liking this and I actually wore this to school when there was celebrity day I'm not sure if I mentioned this in my before videos past videos but um I dressed up as Ariana Grande and then I used this bow so yeah and I also used this dress so yeah and then next is are these two 
bracelets. Um, so this one is just like that. I got these from Hawaii, both of them, from the ABC store in Hawaii. And there's also one in Las Vegas in the fashion show mall. I'm not sure if you guys know that. This one pattern like this. And the other one is just like that. And the pattern looks like this. And this one is actually bendable. I don't know why, but. And, um, me and my friend and I, um, she has one bracelet that's either looks like this or like this. And we're matching, we're twinning. So. What's next in this bag of my, um, accessory favorites is that I randomly pull out is this bracelet. My neighbor, aka my friend, um, she gave this to me when it was her yard, her family yard sale. It's like her family, her whole family. Not like her whole family, I mean like her family and her house. Um, they had a yard sale, and then so she just gave me this for free, of course. So yeah, it's like this. She said she made it, so it's really cute. I really, really like the way in this. Especially at the school. And especially when I see her. This next one, my grandfather gave it to me. Um, I don't really see him anymore. Like, not that often as before. So it's just this Chinese dragon. Because I was born the year of the dragon. So yeah, it looks like this. It just has pearls, white pearls. Really, really like wearing this because I remember when he gave me this, so. It's really nice. And. That's one. No, okay. So, and then I just pick out this. I got it for Christmas last, last year, 2012. So it just looks like this. I got it from one of my old teachers. So, just pretty fun colors. And the last um, jewelry piece is this. It's a Chanel. Um, one of my cousins, her name is Chanel, so yeah. she's actually named after the brand. So it's like this. This it's just a bracelet, and this is really cute. So it's just silver. And then next, next accessories are sunglasses and two nerdy glasses so I'll start with the nerdy glasses so I actually made these so and I got the inspiration this inspiration from Ariana Grande I have it for my own um, screen paper wall screen paper in my computer so she's just wearing like nerdy glasses and like there's like this white paper thing around it, but I didn't have white paper, so I just used pink. So yeah, let's try it on. Yeah. Okay. That's what I mean. And then next one I need is this. So now I need glasses. This heart there, right there. This was like pretty hard to make. As you can see, I use like a lot of tape. So yeah. Okay. So um, next fashion favorites are sunglasses. So this one my cousin gave it to me. Um, not the Ch not Chanel, but um, looks like this on me and then they just have a cheetah print on it and this one I found in my band in my mom's band or my grandma's band um it's like this as you can probably tell it's like this circle crack right there right there and this actually reminds me of the um cookies and cream um 
Cookies and Cream Warriors, Hershey's. So yeah. Thank you, I got from Target. The last accessory favorite is this sunglasses. My cousin, she got it for me from Nordstrom. And then it's like a cheetah print, leopard print kind of. It's like this. It's kind of like a race car thing. You know? No? Okay. You don't know? Okay. So next favorite is makeup. I have a ton of makeup products in here, so let's just get started. So I'm just randomly picking up, this is like a lot of makeup products that I have in, in this tiny bag, tiny makeup bag, so I'll just pick out randomly. The first one I pick out is this Baby Lips, and it's a 15 Cherry Me, like this, I really like the smell. And the uh, how so the it applies. Sorry, that's my computer, but yeah. And then next is brush. This is brush. It's this Mac brush one sixty eight. So it's like this. I use this is my blush brush. Apples on my cheeks. Apples on my cheeks. So yeah, um, I'll show you the blush that I use with this brush. Next, let's take this. So I use the blush that I use with that brush. It's actually a tongue twister blush, brush, brush, blush. Yeah, kind of blush. Is this dandelion? This dandelion blush from Benefit. It has a mirror in it, and then let's take this. It's like a light pinkish with a little bit of shimmer in there, so, yeah. And next one I pull out is my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, and it's your size. Okay, let's take this. I use this a ton, like, for my, for my eyeshadow, of course. And next is the product. Another like product. This is my cream sheen glass and partial to pink. Like this. I have like barely now. I gotta see if they have some more. That she smells a bit too, so it's a really, really pretty color as well. It's like the same color as my chair, kinda. Of. Where I got my chair from IKEA. If you're wondering and so Next, I have this Super Stay 24 Hour Maybelline New York. Um, come together. I did a review on this. I'm not sure if that video's up yet. Yeah. It looks like this. That applicator looks like this. That applicator looks like a Chanel. Um, one of my Chanel lip gloss applicators. So yeah, and next is this brush. It's from um Urban Decay and it actually comes from the Naked One palette. I use this obviously for my eyeshadow. So yeah, it's a really good brush. If you want like big um if you want your eyeshadow to really show. And next is my quiche brush from MAC. It's really really soft to be honest. That's a 224. Alright, 224. Let's say this crease brush. And this is really good if you want like your crease. If you want your crease eyeshadow crease to like be bigger, I guess. Yeah. Really so this is a drugstore one. I got it from Ulta. Yeah, Ulta. And then this is Revlon lip gloss in Revlon color burst in 018. Fire. So this is a really, really nice, like, glossy red color, and I love the packaging of this. It's it looks like a Chanel lip gloss. I don't know why I still have a tag. Let me just remove it. But um, yeah, it's just it looks like a high-end product. So good job, everyone.
and then for eyeshadow one wild color icon and 381B sweetest candy and then so for school I use this for my eyelid this for my crease and this is for my brow bone yeah it's really good and I love the pigmentation of this of these big eyeshadows especially with the pink one so good job one while and then this one I got from Sephora this foundation the curve foundation and the Estee Lauder double wear stay in place makeup foundation say this it's liquid base it's pretty like thick but not too thick so you like you you don't even have to put on any powder it's gonna look good on you especially on me so it looks good on me if i don't use um steady powder my setting powder so like this and it is high and it cost me like 41 bucks so and it's worth it kind of like it's a little bit pricey but it's kind of worth it so uh, next is for eyeshadow I got this Love and Beauty by Forever 21 Quad palette and it looks like this, all these beautiful colors. This dark brown that shimmer in it, you can't really see the brown, it's kind of like a black color but I use it for my crease for night. This one I use for um, my eyeshadow base and my brow bone highlight, so I use it for brown that I hit pan on. I use it for daytime case and then this one. Oh no, this one is a pink one for eyelid and then this one is for the crease. I mean for the brown one highlight in a corner and eyelid. This one's a pink, dark brown, light brown and then white. And then another brush. The Anastasia or Anastasia Beverly Hills um, for your eyebrows for eyeliner I have this MAC liquid eyeliner in boot black looks like this you have to actually shake it also has a tip the tip I mean it's such a good tip I just swatch it for you. And I barely got any color, so it's like a perfect line right there, still. See? Yep. The next for last for mascara, I have the Zero Real by Benefit. This mascara. You heard me raving about this in my past videos I have. So it's really good. It makes your eyelashes long and they make I can make them look fake if I put this first another eyeshadow mascara than this one on it. So my eyelashes look fake but I love it. And this is this Co CoverGirl Waterproof Mascara. It's a purple one. The brush looks like it looks really, really good. So, yep. Um, this is another last mascara. It's the Estee Lauder Sub Sub Extreme No One Extreme Black Mascara Travel Size. Yep. Okay. That's for all for my makeup. So for music favorites, I. We've really been liking this speaker. It's the iWave speaker. I have another one. It's iHome. Looks like this. So it's applied to Apple devices. And I have music favorites. Music favorites. Um, I've really, really been liking Wait for a Minute by Tiger Justin Bieber. Like Tag and Justin Bieber in one song collab to win one song. Like so awesome. 
And by white Jasmine, you really liking my nigga. Not to be racist. And then by Zed, I really been liking Spectrum. It's all year around favorite songs. And then Stay the Night. Patty. I really been liking Stay the Night the most. And then by Verse Simma, Verse S. Kelly Rowan, I've been liking Blue Thing. By Ty Dollar Sign and BLB, I've been liking Paranoid. I really have, I really have um, lots some music favorites. My Soldier Boy, I've been liking Kiss Me Through the Phone. Like in freaking elementary school, we know this song. It's like memory is coming back. My Bright Heat Come, my Sage of Gemini Gas Pedal, and my Nose. By Pitbull, I really been like feel this moment by him and Christina Aguilera. And then I've been like him from One Direction. Door in my life. And that's like my favorite song from them now. And for Miley Cyrus, I'm actually went to a concert. Um, my cousin might come. Yeah, and I might be vlogging if my cousin comes, and then we can't stop. And Wrecking Ball, of course. And do my thing. And adore you. These songs are all from my entire new album Bangers. And from Micro Made It 23, because Jay's on my feet. And then Versace. I actually call this girl my school. I know her brother and her. Um, I call her Versace. Because she's my Mexican Versace. And by Lord, I mean, Lord, I've been mean, really like Royals. But I don't like her, kind of. I don't really like her, Lorde. I don't really know how you pronounce her real name. Her name, but, um,. I like Royals, but just not her. I'm kidding, Shani. I'm kidding, Perry. Unconditionally. And Dark Horse. From Drake. Find Your Love from his Thank Me Later album. It's like a 2007 song, though. And then language when Demi Lovato made in the USA and I really like um Double Z Frozen that's um, um. and then from also from Demi I really been like him let go how my little niece and my little sister, like they sing, let it go together. Oh my gosh, perfection. And they're only almost six and almost five. And from Ariana Grande, Honeymoon Avenue from her Yours Truly album, Tattooed Heart. And almost is never enough. Yeah, those are all my music favorites, explicit and non explicit. And for favorite social apps, I really been I've been pick I pick my top three is 
on Twitter, Snapchat, and my third one's Kick, and fourth one is Facebook. And Snapchat, Facebook, and Kick are private, and I'll have my Twitter link down below. And also for social, I've really been liking Skype, because I've been Skyping with my cousin. Not the one that's coming to the concert, but another one from El Salvador. For photography apps, for editing apps. So I just have um, Afterlight, that's one of my favorites, White, White, Whitagram, and Polamatic. Polamatic is so awesome. Go download if you want to. I have my favorite apps down below. Favorite apps linked down below. And problematic is like you take the picture, and then when it comes out, it's shaped like a Polaroid picture. And you can edit it and add text and all that. And over and frame magic. I'll show you one of my pictures that I took. Um, that I use problematic. And this one, I used Frame Magic. It's one. These are two of the palettes that are gonna be in my Beach Cosmetics unboxing haul. So that's her palette and it's Judy Time. So I just took this picture from BJ's with the big get. And then it looks like that. This is the strawberries, by the way, that's not ketchup. And. That's what it looks like. So it says, yeah. Another picture I took with that is this one. My manicure, my current manicure. I've already been liking this manicure look. And then and then this is me, my little niece. We had the same color nail polish on, and I just put twining, cause we're twin. We were twining, and for other apps, I've really been liking YouTube, which are on right now, and the iTunes app, iTunes store and app store, and yes, and my music, FaceTime, and messages, of course. And then for favorite YouTuber, next is YouTuber. Um, for British, I've really been like mm, Zoella. Top two British YouTubers are Zoella and Zoe, aka Zoella, and Tanya Burr. And then for American, for the USA, I've really been liking That's Heart. Like for the most famous, I've really been liking That's Heart. And it's and Judy from It's Judy's Time and It's Judy's Life. If you haven't um, subscribed to them already, go do that right now. After this video, Nor S. That's it for my um, January favorites 2014. See you guys later. Talk to you guys later. Stay fierce.